Hello, my name's James, I'm 23. Uh, my title is a graduate engineer and I work for Keir Construction Easton. Uh, I first got into the construction industry when I was 16, in between uh, doing my GCSEs and going to do my A-levels at sixth form. From there, from doing my A-levels, I went to do a construction management degree at Nottingham Trent University and also was fortunate enough to get sponsored by my current employer, Keir, and CITB Construction Skills uh, with the Inspire Scholarship Programme. Uh, that has then led me to get a um, job role as a graduate engineer with Keir after completing my degree and yeah, here I am today. The Inspire Scholarship Scheme uh, compromises of your employer backs 50% of the money while CITB Construction Skills um, back it with another 50%. Um, with myself, Keir were giving me £1,500 a year while CITB Construction Skills also matched that. Um, this obviously gave me £3,000 a year to help towards my tuition fees which obviously reduces my student debt, which is obviously a great help whilst studying. On top of that, I was able to get summer placements with Keir, so I could earn uh, a weekly income uh, to help towards pay my university fees and living expenses. Keir operate on a regional, national and international level. Their core business is predominantly the um, construction and civil and infrastructure. Um, the building part uh, consists of doing schools, hospitals, prisons, police stations, and that's the part I'm involved in. And also the civil infrastructure, uh, a project that comes to mind straight away is the Crossrail project in London. Uh, a normal day consists of getting to work for seven o'clock, issuing permits for the trades to be able to go on and do their work. For example, uh, they'll come in and the ground workers will see me for a permit to dig. This is to ensure that they don't go through any of our live services um, on the site. And then from there on, I'll be looking at what needs to be set up for the day. So speaking with the groundworks foreman, um, our foreman and any other trades foreman um, and understanding what they're required to keep the labour busy. Um, once that is then decided, I'll be analysing the drawings and then eventually going out um, and setting out what is required for the day. One thing I'm most pleased with since starting on site would be uh, helping set out all the internal partition walls and then uh, being involved in the external paving and drainage. Obviously, it's a bit of responsibility on that, so at the end of the day when it all works, um, yeah, it was a real good feeling. Uh, the fun side of my role, uh, as we all have a good team atmosphere going on on site, uh, one example, last week we had a six-a-side tournament on the local sports pitch with one of our subcontractors, um, which was really good fun. If someone was to ask me about joining the construction industry, I'd say yes, it's a worthwhile career. You can either go the trade route or the academic route. I can only speak for the academic route and the path that I'm leading currently, but advantages that I receive currently with my current employer, Keir, are things like um, a company car to get to and from work and a very competitive salary. In 10 years time, I'd maybe like to see myself working on big, exciting projects, something like uh, the London Olympics, or maybe working with Keir uh, overseas as we have opportunities in Jamaica, um, Hong Kong and the Middle East.